here in Plymouth, Massachusetts. This is the home of the first English settlers to the Massachusetts Bay Colony. This is where we get the pilgrims, the funny hats, the buckles, the, all of that. There's Plymouth Bay right behind me. It's lovely. It's beautiful. It's this cute little town. And what do you know of Plymouth? You're thinking Plymouth Rock. It's where the pilgrims landed. It's super powerful. There it is. 1620 rock. People have jumped down in there. You're amazing. <laughs> Just the way you are, Plymouth Rock. It's true. Another view, Plymouth Bay. The pilgrims arrived on something similar to that. It's a replica of the Mayflower seems like an awful way to spend a couple of months crossing the ocean but they were intrepid they did it so they landed here they had established a form of government the Mayflower Compact they said we're gonna have an equal voice in government we're not gonna have a king we're gonna have opportunities that we didn't have in England religious freedom is gonna be super important here we agree here on the boat before we ever set foot in the American colonies that we're gonna have this, this community um, that will be an example to the rest of the world. And luckily for us, everything worked out. We always got along, everything's cool. Cute dog. Yeah, nothing bad ever happened after that. We all lived happily ever after. Spoiler, we didn't. Sorry, pilgrims. We may have mucked things up a bit. But good job getting us here. Close up view of the Mayflower ish. Complete with opportunities to buy fudge. Because it is not truly an American historical experience unless you have an opportunity to buy fudge. I'm not lying when I said I have to eat fudge. Peanut butter chocolate fudge. I'm pretty sure it's what our forefathers intended when they set forth on the Mayflower. Create a new country, establish religious freedom, start a whole new kind of government, eat fudge. Pretty good fudge. Just eating fudge in front of the Mayflower. Totally normal Friday afternoon. Good morning. I am at the King's Chapel burying ground, coincidentally right across the street from a hotel, which is right there. It's a beautiful day in Massachusetts. And I'm here because this is where John Winthrop was buried. John Winthrop is the first um, leader of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. We talked about um, the pilgrims who landed at Plymouth. These are the Puritans who landed at Massachusetts Bay, what has now become Boston. The Puritans were a little bit of an umbrella. The, Pur the pilgrims were underneath them. All pilgrims were Puritans, but not all Puritans are pilgrims. Pilgrims wanted to completely separate from the Church of England. But we're here because this is the resting place of John Winthrop. John Winthrop, um, first leader of Massachusetts Bay Colony. He's the one who famously said he wanted to build a city on a hill. He wanted to create a godly society that would be the example to the rest of the world of what a Puritan community could be. And he is right here. You can see John Winthrop, first governor of Massachusetts and then all of the other subsequent Winthrops who were buried here as well. This is right in the center of Boston, King's Chapel Burying Ground. Look at the date on this. Here lies the body of Thomas Brittman, age 53 years, departed this life the 2nd of October, 1690. It's crazy. 1690. 